The Namib Desert, where the mysterious polka dots were created on the plains of one of the oldest desert in Africa. Now these ancient wonders have spawned modern tourists to see the natural wonders that dates back to the dawn of ancient history. The questions many have tried to solve is why, how, and who creates this extraordinary mystery of the desert? The vast circles in the ground that materialize now and then. Welcome besties. I'm on it again with another video on Namibian tradition, heritage, culture, and world view. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the mysteries of the Himba legend about fairy circles, which until recently, their only known location was in Namibia. Now, before we take a trip into the mystical depths, you need to understand the region and its people. The Himba people are a tribe of nomadic pastoralists who inhibit predominantly the Kaoko land of Namibia, but can be found scattered across the Namib desert grasslands, stretching up to the Kunene, where Namibia borders Angola in the north. The Himbas are actually descendants of a group of Herero headers who fled into the remote northwest. The Himba, along with the Sun people of Namibia, are the only tribes who remain virtually unchanged by modernization. Himba women are easily recognized by their intricate hairstyle and traditional jewelry. Himba men and women wear few clothes. They use animal hide to make cloth turned into skirts and wrap their bodies with a mixture of ghee and red okra to protect themselves from the harsh desert sun and also gives them a distinct appearance. Ancient Himba people kept their tradition alive through folklore. This tradition represents the tribe's belief regarding religion, origin of life, and prehistoric animals. These are some of the stories that help us shed light on the country and culture I know today. Fairy circles in the Namib desert are amongst the many natural wonders of Namibia. Hundreds of circular patches scattered across barren land and to get to them is particularly a journey through treacherous terrain, arid landscape with no recreation facility in sight for about hundreds of kilometers. So guys, thinking you've heard enough, wait until you hear this. According to Himba folklore, the circles were left by God, signifying the footstep of God. In another folklore, it is said that ancient dragon living beneath the crust of the earth burned the vegetation on the surface and its fire poisoning the earth in return. Notably, it is easy to understand from an African mythological perspective why the Himba could attribute this complex phenomenon to the two legends. The Himba people worship their ancestors and God known as Mukuru. They believe that Mukuru is busy in a distant realm and their ancestor act as Mukuru's representatives. Their homes surround an 
Okuruo, which is an ancestral fire. Their livestock is closely tied to their belief in ancestral worship. The fire represent ancestral protection and their livestock allow their good relation between them and their ancestors. Cows are sacred in Himba tradition and they are seen as God's cows. Each family has its own ancestral fire, which is kept by the fire keeper who attends to it weekly in order to channel the ancestors and Mukuru on behalf of the family. This is where we get the Himba legend about fairy circles from. So guys, if you like me to do more videos like this, give this one a like, share with all your friends, and don't forget to leave a comment or suggestion. I enjoyed putting this video together and I will see you in the next one, hopefully, if you subscribe. Bye besties!